getting less than 10% open rate on your emails? That is frustrating. Here are 10 tips that you can implement today that will improve your open rate, if not double it. Hi, I'm Brandon from Business Beyond 40. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe below. The first issue that we're going to address is deliverability. Deliverability is the ability of your email to actually land in the inbox of your subscriber. We don't want it landing in your promotions folder or your spam folder. No one can open up an email if it's not in their inbox. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that your emails land in the inbox. And in order to do that, this is tip one, use a reputable autoresponder for the delivery of your emails. Review your autoresponder before selecting them and make sure that they have a great reputation. You don't want your good quality emails being lumped in with the spammy emails that they already send out on behalf of their other clients. Tip number two, don't use spammy words in your subject headline. Head over to HubSpot, I'll have a link in the description below. And here they have an ultimate list of 394 email spam trigger words that you wanna be avoiding in the use of your emails. Tip number three, evaluate your subject line before sending out the email. Head over to a site called subjectline.com. In the text box, enter the subject line that you want tested, get them to evaluate that line for you, and it'll come back with a score out of 100. And they'll also go ahead and give you some marketing tips as how to possibly improve your email subject line. Tip number four, test the deliverability of your email before sending it. Head over to a site called mailtester.com, copy the email address that is listed in this text box, head over to your autoresponder, select the email that you wish to test, and send a test email to that test email address that we just copied out of that mailtester.com site and send an email to it. Head back over to mailtester.com and then check your score. Mailtester.com will give you a score back out of give you a score out of 10. In this particular case I scored a 9.8 for this this email. It'll also tell you where it thinks that there are particular problems. Anything 9.4 and above should get you into the inbox. Anything below that is likely to find yourself either in the promotions or the spam box. But go and test your email before sending it out. Tip number five, don't only send salesy emails out to your subscribers. Send some value out to them as well. So, so send them emails that do not contain a whole heap of links in them. Just offer some value from time to time as well. Tip number six, try and get a response from your subscribers. Ask them questions in your emails, ask them for feedback or run a competition and offer the first five people that respond to your email a prize. This will allow the likes of Gmail to see that there's a two-way communication happening between yourself and your subscriber. They are therefore likely to deliver your email straight to the inbox going forward. Now that brings us to the end of the tips for the deliverability section. The next section we're going to actually talk about how to improve your subject line in order to get our higher clicks. At the end of the day, if your email lands in the inbox, the next hurdle is the subject line. Subject lines are what get people to stop, take notice of your email and ultimately click on that email. So let's head into tip number seven. So send emails that you know that your audience will like and respond to. So segment your audience according to their likes and their interests and send them emails that you know they will be interested in. Tip number eight, create curiosity with your subject line. Use something along the lines of, the last time I did this, I was blown away. That is gonna create some curiosity. Or create urgency in your subject line. Only three hours till my last. So ask a question in the subject line and make sure that the answer to that question is a resounding yes. For example, can your copywriting do with a boost? Personalize the subject line. If your autoresponder allows it, insert the person's name in the subject line that is sure to catch their attention. But use that sparingly, do not do that all the time. Tip nine is use artificial intelligence to help you write email subject lines. I'm gonna demonstrate how easy it is for AI to generate subject lines for you. I'll be demonstrating Jarvis. Once you're logged in, head over to the templates, Head over to the email section and email subject lines, select that. Enter in a product that you would like to promote in your email, the tone of voice that you would like to use and briefly write what your email is about. And then go and hit the generate button and wait for AI to give you a list of subject lines that you can use. I've selected the tone of, vo tone of voice curiosity and these are the subject lines that Jarvis has returned. Sleep training, what it is and how to do it. 
an alternative to sleep training why is sleep training so controversial good question are you sleep training help teach your baby good sleeping habits help your baby or young child to learn good sleep habits and that is how easy it is for artificial intelligence to generate subject lines for you that will pique interest in your subscribers and finally tip number 10 either use your name or your business name in your from email address this is more likely to create a connection with your subscriber than admin or no reply or do not reply as the from email address if like me you put a lot of effort into creating your emails you want them to get opened follow these 10 tips and if you would like to trial Jarvis there is a 10,000 word free trial running at the moment use the link in the description below to access that trial and get him creating the email subject lines for you that will improve your open rate of your email